Vincent Jules Oriel, French pronunciation, V. S. Ogil, the 27th of August 1884 to the 1st of January 1966, was a French politician who served as the first president of the Fourth Republic from 1947 to 1954. Topic: Early life and politics. Oriel was born in Revel, haute garonne as the only child of Jacques Antoine Oriel (1855–1933), a baker nicknamed Paul, and Angelique Virginie Durand (1862–1945). His great-grandmother, Anne Oriel, was a first cousin of English engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel. He earned a law degree at the Collège de Revel in 1904 and began his career as a lawyer in Toulouse. A committed socialist, Oriel co founded the newspaper Le Midi Socialiste in 1908. He was head of the Association of Journalists in Toulouse at this time. In 1914, Oriel entered the Chamber of Deputies as a socialist deputy for Murat, a position he retained until 1942. He also served as mayor of Murat from 3 May 1925 to 17 January 1947, and as a member of the Conseil General of haute garonne from 1928 to 17 January 1947. In December 1920, after the breakup of the SFIO, Oriel refused to join the newly created SFIC and became one of the leaders of the new SFIO the remaining socialist minority, along with Léon Blum. Oriel became the party's leading spokesman on financial issues. He chaired the Finance Committee in the Chamber of Deputies from 1924 to 1926. His first cabinet post was as Minister of Finance under Léon Blum, in which Oriel controversially devalued the French franc 30% against the United States dollar, leading to capital flight and greater economic unease. This and Bloom's proposals for greater regulatory restrictions on industry led to Bloom's resignation as premier. In the next government, led by Camille Chautamp, Oriel was made Minister of Justice, then Minister of Coordination of Services of the Presidency of the Council in Bloom's short lived government in 1938. Edouard Daladier's conservative radical government, formed on 10 April 1938, returned Oriel to the Chamber of Deputies. Oriel was one of the 80 deputies who voted against the extraordinary powers given to Prime Minister Philippe Pétain on 10 July 1940 that brought about the Nazi-backed Vichy government. As a result, he was placed under house arrest until he escaped to the French resistance in October 1942, and fought with the resistance for a year. Oriel fled to London in October 1943. He represented the Socialists at the Free French Consultative Assembly organized by Charles de Gaulle in Algiers later that year. In July 1944, he represented France at the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference at Bretton Woods, United States. <laughs> Post-war life and presidency After World War II, Oriel served as Minister of State in de Gaulle's provisional government. He was a member of the constituent assemblies which drafted the constitution of the short-lived French Fourth Republic, and was president of the assemblies. He lobbied for a third force between communism and Gaullism. Oriel led the French delegation to the United Nations and was France's first representative on the United Nations Security Council in 1946. He served as a deputy for haute garonne in the National Assembly from 1946 until 31 December 1947. Meanwhile, the National Assembly elected him on 16 January 1947 as the first president of the Fourth Republic by a wide margin, receiving 452 votes against the 242 for the People's Republican Movement candidate, Auguste Champetier de Ribes. As president, Oriel pursued a relatively weak presidency like the office under the Third Republic. He attempted to reconcile political factions within France and warm relations between France and its allies. He was criticized for France's ailing economy and political turmoil in the post-war period, and the war in Indochina. A series of debilitating strikes were waged across France in 1947, initiated by the Confédération Générale du Travail. The strikes escalated into violence in November of that year, leading, on 28 November, to the government deploying 80,000 French army reservists to face the insurrection. The Communist Party, who often supported the strikes, were expelled from the legislature in early December. 
The strikes ended on 10 December, but more would come in 1948, and again in 1953 in response to the Joseph Lanyal government's austerity program. Apart from the inconclusive war in Indochina, France's colonial empire decayed under Oriol's presidency. Clashes in Morocco, Madagascar, Algeria, and Tunisia became more frequent, and Algerian independence movement, the Front de Libération Nationale, was founded in 1951, and in 1953 the French overthrew Mohamed V, the Sultan of Morocco, after he demanded greater autonomy. France waged a brutal war of repression in Madagascar, and imprisoned Tunisian independence leader Habib Bourguiba in 1952. When Oriol's term as president expired, he did not run for re-election, and was succeeded by René Coty as president of France on 16 January 1954. Oriol commented on leaving office, "...the work was killing me, they called me out of bed at all hours of the night to receive resignations of prime ministers." There were 18 different governments during his seven years as president. After his presidency, Oriol assumed the role of elder statesman, and wrote articles on political topics. Oriol became a member of the Constitutional Council of France in 1958 at the establishment of the French Fifth Republic. He resigned from the SFIO in the same year. He unsuccessfully lobbied against the Constitution in the 1958 national referendum, and resigned from his position on the Constitutional Council in 1960 to protest the growing power of Charles de Gaulle's presidency. In 1965, he endorsed François Mitterrand for the presidency. On 1 January 1966, Vincent Oriol died in hospital in the 7th arrondissement of Paris and was buried at Murat, haute garonne Topic: Personal life. On the 1st of June 1912, Oriol married Michelle Akitier, the 5th of March 1896 to the 21st of January 1979. Six years later, the couple had a son, Paul, 1918 to 1992. The aviator Jacqueline Oriol was his daughter-in-law. Topic: See also. Politics of France